When we shared information about AI ethics, we had no idea how you would react. Did you find this information helpful? Did you find, did it make you afraid? And I wanted to share some of the feedback that we received from my computer science research peers about this episode because all parents need to hear it. Uh, and also because they have graciously given us permission uh, to share it. University of Guelph professor, Dr. Stacy Scott wrote, I had a chance to watch your talk this morning. Great stuff. I knew some, but not all of the biases that you shared. It was very interesting to hear new ones, but also to hear all of them together. I've been following Australia's battle with Facebook in the news with interest. Uh, you are correct that they have tremendous power. Uh, so many people don't understand the power of these tech giants. Thanks for doing such a nice and thorough job of putting all of that information together in such an accessible way. You have such a gift for it. <laughs> Thank you. The tobacco industry funding analogy was very interesting. I've often thought about the dilemma that academics funding by uh, pharmaceutical companies have as apt or appropriate uh, also. I've also thought that Google is extremely reliant on maintaining their benign reputation because they so heavily rely on us to continue to share our data. Nice work. Very thought provoking. Thanks. Wow. Okay. First of all, thank you so much for the glowing recommendation, Dr. Stacy. It's true that big pharma is similar to big tobacco and big tech. In the end, it's this concentration of power in the hands of very, very few. And something that we need to be aware of if we want to take back control of our own screen time. UC Davis Assistant Professor of Design, Dr. Katia Vega wrote, I loved your talk. I recently made an artistic project that raises the issue of ethnicity in AI called unethical AI. Huh. Let's go check it out. Are you guys ready? Here we go. So I'm just taking a look at unethical AI door and box. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, there she goes. <laughs> no gumball for her. Oh. <laughs> And boom, yo gumball, it's a racist gumball machine. This is the same concept. Yeah. Oh, this door's not opening. Um, denies you access your non-white. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. I see. I see. So it's, it's detecting ethnicity. W what I'll say is thank you for this important work, Katia and Lorenzo. Uh, I hope this issue and, and the artwork that you're doing brings to light the issues that many of us are facing today. A lot of people don't think about artificial intelligence in terms of bias, because I mean, this is just a benign computer. However, much of the input that comes into AI does contain all these biases already. And so whatever it processes from it will, will just be a reflection of the larger data that it is trained on. Uh, so thank you. Thank you very much for bringing this issue to light because I think it's very, very important. AI impacts us more and more every day. And we need to be aware of what data is it taking in uh, as a res and what kind of data is it going to produce as a result. I just wanted to share just a, a little bit of the feedback that I've received just from this particular sharing. And I think it's important for you to know because we are all learning about this together. And the point of AI parenting was to make sure that we learn about parenting in a world of AI. What if we are preparing our kids for a world that no longer exists? That may be the case right now with AI and the amount of things that are changing. So we need this education, this awareness of exactly what is going on with AI 
especially as parents, in order to make sure that we have control over what is being seen on screens, how our kids will react online. All of these things become the new playground, the new place where our kids are hanging out. We just need to stay on top of these things. And it's not because we're interested in them. And it's not like our kids were interested in playgrounds, but it's because we're interested in our kids. And so with that, thank you very much. I do appreciate you. Speak to you soon.